It's just kind of scattered all over the place. Uh, you got my back tea? family happy new year even though you're watching this video on the new year for us it's the last day of the year and we're gonna go over what happened in 2021 some highlights some just things that stood out in the year and we got some announcements for what's gonna be expected on this channel going forward in 2022 it could be detrimental to my health or very good for my health we're gonna have to find out we're gonna have to get mommy down here to uh, approve some of my ideas we started off 2021 with uh, sunset passing away our indigo snake, which was very unfortunate. This is a beautiful uh, remembrance photo by Aurora Exotics that we're probably going to have to get onto an actual frame at some point, but I've just been keeping it nice and fresh in this plastic so that it doesn't, doesn't go bad. The strongest bond with emotionally over the past... Uh... <sighs> this is hard because he's look, he looks like he's doing like good. Like, it's, that's just hard to tell with snakes, though. They're just... Uh... That was how we started the year. So it was really only uphill from there. Uphill meaning things getting good. What are you doing? Eli wants to come sit in the background. That's fine. Yeah. The next big thing for me was going to get to go to Nerd. Eli, Eli, Eli. There's a lot of cool ball pythons we're gonna have here. These are ball pythons. You happy about ball pythons? Brian's happy about ball pythons just cause Brian likes ball pythons. Ball python. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Room number Room 12. 12. Oh, look at you, Rainbow Bright. I guess, Noah, we gotta share the share the spotlight with all these hoofa moofas. You good with that? Not really. Going to Nerd. Getting to jam guitar with Kevin. Checking out all the places. That was when Rob and Jeremy were still there, so they had, like, the Dream Team crew, in my opinion. I don't know who's there now. I don't know if they're just good, but I highly doubt it. That was awesome. And then after that was probably the biggest turning point for this channel. Like, the, a, real, a real marker in time. A real, uh... A real event. I drank my own pee on a live stream for US Arc, which at that point it was probably when a lot of you realized uh, or had the opinion that I am a small, immature, disgusting child. And to that I have to say, well, it was only a matter of time before you found that out. But <laughs> are you just going to sit there and chew on your fingers? Because that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's, that's not how we're going to do it. Come on, no immature, disgusting child stuff on this channel. So the next thing that was big for us was a, a sunset clutch, a, a big sunset clutch. And, I mean, anytime we hatch out sunsets is a big deal around here. We are planning to hatch out more in 2022 and produce our first 100% het sunsets in 2022. So you can look forward to that. Guys, guys, seriously, come on. No, we're not doing that right now. We're filming a video. Also in 2022, I need to work on my anger issues. Are you guys going to help me with that? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> 2021 was also the first instance of our podcast, Searchables Reptiles, getting location sponsorships, going to Arizona, like you were talking about. Noah's first big field herping trip out in Arizona. That was pretty epic. You hung with the big boys. Remember that? You got any, you got any special memories from that? What right through this shoe. I told you to watch where you're going, bud. <laughs> Not too... Yeah, you got a little bit of the cactus venom, probably. Cactuses are venomous. Just thinking of that trip makes my toe feel like it's 
got a cactus piece in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got the toe pretty good back there, didn't you? Ooh, ooh. Also, Noah started keeping his very first snake. Mm-hmm. Blood python. Blend. How's Blend doing, Noah? Good. We just have to take your word for it? Yeah, Blend's doing good. So we just have to take your word for it? Yep. All right. We'll just assume Blend's doing just fine. Uh, we went to a bunch of reptile shows, and we did our uncut videos there, which seems to be a great way that you guys love for me to do the reptile shows. You just go there, walk around with the camera, uncut, see what we experience, and, and go from there. It's great. you know. So maybe I'll eat some bugs. Maybe we'll crawl into a uh, giant tub of dry ice. I don't know. You never know what can happen on the uncuts. Also this year, we started the Whiskey Channel, which is kind of a big deal. Um, not that the Whiskey Channel is a big deal. It's actually growing very slowly. But... It's a part of what my plans are for 2022 is to continue that. But when I started this vlog, we were doing it daily. And at that time, I only had one channel. Now I've got four channels and a podcast. And I'm thinking to do daily vlogs in 2022 for a couple of reasons. Um, I've been working on trying to get myself in top shape and I get start doing a little bit and then I fall off and start doing a little bit. So this is where I need to talk to Hillary about this. So Hillary! Uh, speaking of Hillary, while we're waiting for her to get down here, her and I had our 10th wedding anniversary in 2021, which was awesome. And probably my favorite Music Monday that, you know, we didn't do Music Mondays a bunch. Well, can you not interrupt me for the question? I'm in the middle. Can you see I'm in the middle of talking? Can you see I'm in the middle of my sentence? Like, so can, can you just... Can you, Oh, yeah, yeah. The kids were at the wedding anniversary, too. Our 10th wedding anniversary we spent with our kids, which was great. And going forward, we're still waiting for Hillary. Oh, we went to, we were invited to the Growing Up Wilbanks event out there at Mike Wilbanks' place, which was also great. It was, there was a lot of cool moments where I got to meet guys that I looked up to and still look up to um, while I was doing what we're doing over here and using them as examples of, like, guys that I, I would like to you know, have a small piece of the success they've had with reptiles. There so. you are. We rang. All right, we're gonna we're gonna steal. Mommy's stealing your seat for a moment. Don't make bl wide eyes at me. You move your butt for your mama. You let yourself down a little bit. <laughs> there you go. You don't, you don't want to feel small. <laughs> no, I'm fine feeling small. <laughs> sure, go get up there as high as you want. So I'm thinking about daily vlogs, starting in 2022. Hmm. With the oh no, I just left the room. He's like. He took his seat and he's like, I'm out of here. There were two um, news resolutions that I didn't hit in 2021. Okay. And I hit one of them, which was start a whiskey channel. Okay. The other two were um, travel outside the country mm -hmm. and... Um, which isn't really your fault. Not, not entirely. <laughs> but expose them abs. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, expose them abs. They're didn't in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so my thought is to do daily vlog. I think that'll help keep me on track if I'm... Con if I'm documenting daily then i'll i'll know exactly on youtube yeah on youtube you don't on think this that's channel gonna be a little too much i don't know but i think that i can i think i can do it what if you just did like a little daily check-in but you didn't necessarily like post that every day i you don't record think record a daily check-in and then like when you do your vlog for that week you include those days so that you're not having to edit and upload every day but you still are filming yourself talking about stuff every day Kind of making a journal, but just not posting it every single day. Kind of doing like weekly, a weekly um, recap. Think about it. We don't need to. Yeah, well, comment down below. What do, think? On, what do you think? Camera. What do you think? What do you think? Well, no, we can think about it on camera. Mm -hmm. um, but we can also get comments down below from people. Would you, would you be interested in daily vlog if I if I did every day? And my thought was that if I did that, then I would keep doing it, and the only way that I would quit is if I achieved both of those things like if i if i got down to 172 mm -hmm. which is my goal weight which what am i at right now mm -hmm. okay, let's see. 198.8 Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. so 198.8 with sweats and t-shirt and socks all right so let's say 195 no 172 well no i know i'm saying like let's say you actually weigh like 195 172 and you have wet 
stuff on. Yeah, yeah, but okay, so once it's still that's not 172. 172. Yeah. So if the if those two things, you know, keep doing a daily vlog until I get at least I was thinking those two things or definitely the definitely the the health marker. Yeah, cuz we don't know what's going to happen as far as travel goes just with everything. So you can't like say that's going to be completely in your control. Nothing's really in my control yeah. ever. We could uh, go down to San Diego and we could just like walk over to Tijuana and get dinner. <laughs> Trying back. to record this video is a perfect example of how nothing's ever really in my control. Yeah. Um yeah, I think the health one is the big one. And like I said, I don't want you creating more stress for yourself because that's probably not going to help in your fitness weight loss journey if you're feeling this pressure to upload every day you know like that's why I think maybe you could save it all for the end of the week and kind of do a little recap (laughs) (laughs) all right okay well that's all I really wanted you to put on um and I just kind of recap, finish recapping the rest of the year. But I know what about you got, me? Well, you got to get ready for it. Well, you were I talking know. about the 10th anniversary and, and that. What? Our, it was our 10th anniversary last year. Yeah. What about you? What are my goals? I don't know what your goals are. Just start your own channel. <laughs> Upload videos on the channel that you have already. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> how about, how about uh, stay consistent with something? I have been. Besides being an awesome, beautiful, wonderful mother. I have been consistent. And, and wife. I, yeah, you're consistently an, an amazing mother and, and wife. But yeah, that's just, right. But you could, you know. Ma- yes, the podcast. One, one, one a month. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I work. It's not like I, like, not speaking consistent which, with that. Speaking of which, you, gotta, you better finish getting ready so you don't, you're not late. So I got to finish talk my about video. yourself more. <laughs> no, it's my video. It's my, <laughs> this is my, this is you my know, channel. You're all over my toe. <laughs> oh, I'm Right. Noah wants to come back into his seat anyway. He's feeling dejected. Okay. Okay. So how far are we down? How far are we down what? The list. Oh, down the list of um, highlights of 2021? Mm-hmm. We're getting towards the bottom. Another big one, being invited out by Snake Discovery to do that build-off challenge. That was an awesome moment in 2021. I got third place. Where's my plaque at, Emily and Ed? Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I, the experience was the best part of it. You know, getting third place was great, but uh, just just going out there and being part of it was the win. I probably wouldn't care if I got last. I mean, I figured just building like an enclosure is fun. It must have been fun. It was very fun, especially with all the all the friends we got to do it with. First bioactive enclosure built our first bioactive enclosure here. That was a remnant of that, and then we got our second bioactive enclosure going now with our. Blue Beauty Snake that was sent over by our buddies. Had our first boa litter ever. Uh, joint pairing with my buddy Travis again. And we still got one of the babies here that's going to be shipped out probably in a couple days. And uh, the other two went locally, which was nice. Didn't have to ship them. And then I had the scrub python debacle where the two scrub pythons I've been raising for the last five years turned out to both be boys. That was another little highlight, if you want to call it that, of 2021. And then after that, I caught my first trout ever. Oh, yeah. Noah caught his first trout ever in 2021, too. We didn't get that one on video, but if we start doing daily vlogs and stuff like that, will probably get captured more often. A huge, a huge moment for me in 2021 was just recently was uh, getting closer to God, my, forming my relationship with God through, through Jesus, which is the closest relationship I've ever had with God ever in my life. I like to think I've been working on my relationship with God my entire life. And this year has been just like opening the floodgates of uh, spirituality has been, I mean, Noah, what, what do you think? What do you think about that? Think about what? What I just said, you ding dong. I don't really, I know that it has to do with how you became Christian. Yeah. How did you become Christian? Uh, well, I just became Christian after you became Christian. Was it after me? Mm-hmm. Part of me feels like it might have been before. I feel like it was after. Yeah, okay, could be. What does it mean to you? Like what part? What does it mean to you to be Christian? Uh, to follow Jesus. In what way? Uh. God is good? That's all I can say, man. I don't know. Well, what does following Jesus mean? Uh, means... Do you, do you go find him on the street and walk behind him? Kind of. Kind of? <laughs> basically. Basically? You basically go out on the street and find Jesus down there and, and walk walk behind him? 
Yeah. Yeah? Basically. Basically? Come on, give me a real answer. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? You had a pretty good answer for me the other night. Is yeah, he had, a, he had an amazing 20? answer the other night. Uh, uh, what's that? Is um the list done? <laughs> That's the end of the list, pretty much. But we did have our first coral. Our we got our first clutch on the ground uh, from our first ball python ever from a you female. It's been seven years. You've only had one clutch from Carl. Yeah, Carl's only sired one clutch ever because his girlfriend took seven years to get ready. Let us know what you guys think about this video. Uh, leave a comment down below. L like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along and see what's going to happen in the 2022 season. Possibly lots of great stuff. Possibly. We don't know. We don't know what's happening. But mm. we will document it and bring you the best uh, versions of ourselves that we can. Uh, and I will, will work on bettering myself to bring you better energy, vibes, content, goodness, graciousness. And... Uh, Maybe a little bit of immature, childish, disgusting stuff, too, along the way. Noah, anything to say before we get out of here? Aloha! Y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you uh, for the rest of the year. Oh, oh, how could I forget about Hilo? Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to forget about you in the update for 2021. That was the first dog ever. Can't forget about Hilo. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Yeah, this is a pretty big update for 2021 too. Big highlight for us. That's uh, the biggest highlight ever, huh? Oh my gosh! You, speaking of big, you're getting huge already. Next time you guys see him, I mean, he's, oh my gosh, you're so big already. You're so big. Oh. Oh, that and I guess we have our first reticulated python pairing ever happening, so there's that too. Um, yeah, all right. <laughs> See you guys.